In this tutorial, let's see how to create this zoom image effect on a hover. So when I put my mouse on it, it creates this zooming in effect. And when I put it away, it zooms it back out. Let's see how to do this using CSS and Elementor. I have my Elementor page here and I will use image widget. And let me just choose an image that I want. I will set this to full and I can go to my section and just set the content width to maybe something like 700 pixels. Now I will select my image widget and go to the advanced panel. I'm using Elementor Pro, so I have this custom CSS field here. If you are using a free version, I will show you how to achieve the same effect using a custom CSS plugin. But for now, let's just type our code here. I will start by typing selector and IMG and then colon and hover. This will define the hover state of my image within the section that I'm editing. So in this case on my hover, I want this image to scale up. So I will use the transform property scale. And then in the bracket, I will define the scale that I want this image to have on hover. In my case, it will be something larger than one, which means that it will zoom in. So for example, maybe 1.3, let's say. And now let's see what this does. If I put my mouse on it, you can see that it kind of zooms in and it scales the image up, but it's not quite there yet because we want this transition to be a little bit smoother and softer and slower. So for to do this, I will type again, selector, IMG, and then I will define the transition. And the transition in my case, it will be something like maybe, I want it to last, let's say one second to be a little bit, um, a little bit slower one second or two seconds, you can experiment with this value. And I will also add ease value, which will cr create this kind of a smoother um, effect. So let's now see what this does. You can see that it has this very nice and soft and natural flow to it. And the last thing that I want to fix is that you can see that on hover, when the image is zooming, it goes above and beyond the frame. So it go goes basically outside the frame. And I don't want that. I want it to actually stay within the frame and just to hide these bits and parts of the image that are outside of the frame. And to do this, we will simply go to our selector, which is basically the div containing this image, the container that has the image inside. And I will set the overflow to hidden. And in this case, you can now see the effect that we have, which is very nice and smooth zoom effect while the remaining bits of the image, they remain hidden using this overflow hidden property. Now you can do the same effect. Now let's just copy our code here and uh, I will actually cut it. And if you are not using the pro version of Elementor, you can just go to your image, go to the layout and in the CSS classes field, just add any class that you want. Uh, you can name this anything you want. Just re remember that you cannot use spaces. So maybe we can call this uh, zoomed image without a dot. And then remember this name, it's a zoomed image. I will go to my custom CSS and uh, I'm using a simple custom CSS and JavaScript plugin. And uh, here I will just type dot zoomed image. And then I will open my code. Now, uh, if you remember the code that we used is this one. So actually what I can do is simply use the zoomed image class and uh, just replace it here. Wherever I have selector, I will type zoomed image, which is the name of my class. And uh, basically the remaining part of the code will stay the same. So I will just replace the selector with my custom CSS class. Remember to use the dot. And now let's update this and see if we refresh the page, if we kept the same effect. And there you go. You can see that we achieved the same result using Elementor free version. So that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.